Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. I've been a CPA for 27 years, and today I want to help you decide between QuickBooks Online and Desktop. So let's get started. First, QuickBooks Online, make sure we're all on the same page. This is uh, QuickBooks cloud-based accounting software. So it's completely online. Uh, you can log into it from anywhere uh, on the internet. Extremely easy uh, to get to, no software to install. QuickBooks Desktop, this is their traditional accounting software. It's been around for many decades. Uh, you install it on a computer. Um, really nice thing about QuickBooks Desktop, you can use it for an unlimited number of companies for one price, whereas QuickBooks Online, you have to purchase it separately uh, for each company. Um, the accounting features themselves are very similar in QuickBooks Online Desktop. Uh, this was not true just four or five years ago. Uh, QuickBooks Desktop was much more powerful than online. Uh, but QuickBooks Online, they've really, really made a lot of advancements in the last five years. Um, and I would say now it's the equal of QuickBooks Desktop in terms of uh, accounting features and power. So let's jump to the answer, uh, and then we'll go into some more detail about some of the differences. But who do I recommend QuickBooks Desktop for? I would say companies that have an experienced bookkeeper. So if one person is doing all the accounting work and they're experienced, they're very good uh, with bookkeepers, they will probably like QuickBooks Desktop better than QuickBooks Online just because the navigation is a little bit faster. So things can look a little bit cluttered, it can be a little bit confusing, but for an experienced bookkeeper, you can move very, very quickly from one screen to the next. You can input data much faster. You can have multiple windows open at the same time. Um, things you can't do with QuickBooks Online. Um, also, it's important that your bookkeeper be experienced if you're going to use QuickBooks Desktop because it's very hard to share your books with an outside bookkeeper that's going to advise you. So um, if you need to call up your bookkeeper uh, every month, every other month and ask them for help, you know, I'm, I'm talking about your outside bookkeeper. If, if your internal bookkeeper needs to call them, you know, every other month to get some advice, you know, tell them, oh, I messed up a transaction. Can you help me? Um, QuickBooks Desktop is really not for you. Uh, it's very hard for your external accountant to be able to see um, your QuickBooks Desktop books. Um, and finally, the experienced bookkeeper Again, they're going to like QuickBooks Desktop because it's laid out much more like a traditional bookkeeping program uh, that they're used to. So small business owners that do their own books probably want to go with QuickBooks Online. It's a little bit more user friendly. The second group I recommend QuickBooks Desktop for are for the independent bookkeepers that are providing full service bookkeeping to many, many different companies. Now, if you're going to use QuickBooks Desktop, as an independent bookkeeper providing your services, you want to make sure that you're providing full service bookkeeping, meaning the clients never have to have access to their own books. So they won't even be buying QuickBooks Desktop. You'll have QuickBooks Desktop, you'll do all their accounting, you'll provide them with financial statements and whatever reports uh, you want to give them, but they never have access to their books. If that's your business setup, then absolutely you want QuickBooks Desktop, not QuickBooks Online, because you can have an unlimited number of companies with QuickBooks Desktop. If you did this with online, you'd have to have a separate QuickBooks Online account for every client. While that might be nice, it's not necessary if the client is not going into the books and looking at things themselves. So that's who I recommend QuickBooks Desktop to. Um, I pretty much recommend QuickBooks Online for everyone else. Again, uh, five years ago, this would not have been the case. I was very adamant about QuickBooks Desktop being so much better, and it was five years ago, but that's not the case anymore. Um, from a feature standpoint, they're very, very similar, and so really it's... Uh, looking at how do you access uh, the books, um, what is the pricing structure, and really trying to determine which is best. And for most people, QuickBooks Online, I think, is going to come out ahead. So let's look at these specific recommendations. So my first is I recommend QuickBooks Online for companies that keep their own books but consult frequently with an independent bookkeeper. So again, your independent bookkeeper can get online, log into your account, see exactly what you're seeing and help fix problems. So if you have an inexperienced bookkeeper, perhaps it's the business owner, perhaps it's you doing the books, um, and you need to ask help from the bookkeeper, they can go into your account and see exactly what you're looking at and immediately fix things. Um, it's very, very slick. So you absolutely want QuickBooks online. 
Second group of people is companies with more than two people needing access to their accounting system. So if you want multiple people logging into your accounting system, perhaps one person is the general bookkeeper and another person does the billing or pays the bills, um, then QuickBooks Online is very nice. They can very easily be in the program at the same time and QuickBooks Online comes with a set number of users. So QuickBooks Online Plus is their most popular program and it comes with five users. So it's very easy for everybody to have access at the same time. QuickBooks Desktop, however, it prices per person. So your standard license only includes one user. If you want additional users, you have to buy additional licenses. If those additional users sit at different desks, then you're going to have to install QuickBooks Desktop in a way that they can both get to the data file, which generally means setting it up on a local server. And that's going to take some IT expertise. So uh, bottom line is, if you have more than two users, QuickBooks Online is cheaper anyway and far more convenient. Um, so it makes sense to go with QuickBooks Online. The third group of companies is if you have remote employees. And again, this is pretty obvious. Uh, QuickBooks Desktop is installed on a desktop unless you have some sort of hosting service, which we can talk about a little bit later. Um, you can't get to it from outside your office. QuickBooks Online, super simple. If you're on the internet, you can get into QuickBooks Online. Your employees can work remotely. And the fourth and final set are your independent bookkeepers, again, going back to bookkeeping firms. If you provide assisted bookkeeping, not full service, but assisted bookkeeping to clients that like to do it themselves, then obviously you need QuickBooks Online because then they can have access to their books when they need help or when it's time for you to do the financial statements, you can have access to their books. It's really slick. So as a QuickBooks Online Bookkeeper, you'll want to become a QuickBooks Pro Advisor. And when you do, you'll be able to log into your version of QuickBooks Online, which is called the QuickBooks Online Account. And from there, that serves as a portal to all of your clients' books. Once they invite you as their accountant, you'll have access to all of their books directly from within your own QuickBooks Online account. Super simple. Okay, so those are my overall recommendations. Um, let's get into a little bit more of the details of the similarities and differences between QuickBooks Desktop and Online. So accounting-wise, very, very similar. Um, you, can, uh, you have accounts receivable, accounts payable, banking, inventory, project management, time tracking, integrated payroll. Um, there are a few differences in accounting features, but the big bulk you know the meat and potatoes part of both of these programs are very very capable um, you know inventory there's a slight difference um, QuickBooks Online uses the FIFO uh, cost flow method whereas QuickBooks desktop uses your average cost method so that is a little bit different um, when you're when you're tracking income and expenses QuickBooks desktop you can track them by classes but not locations uh, QuickBooks Online has tracking by both classes and locations so there are a few differences in their accounting features but they're very very small compared to the differences I'm going to focus on in this video which is how you access um, the program and how you and the pricing structure of the program so let's start with that so let's start with the pricing structure of the program so QuickBooks desktop I've said before you pay for this by the number of users so Premier let's focus on that that's their most popular uh, uh, edition of the desktop product so for one user it's $799 and then it uh, looks like $300 for each additional user up to a total of five users so look at that that becomes very expensive pretty quickly right so three users is $1400 a month two users is $1100 I'm sorry not a month a year okay well let's look then at the pricing structure of QuickBooks Online QuickBooks Online comes with a set number of users per plan oh the other thing I should mention let's flip back so to the pricing for QuickBooks desktop now remember you're paying by the user here but with QuickBooks desktop you get an unlimited number of companies with the program so you pay for Premier you pay about eleven hundred dollars for two users but that's for an unlimited number of companies QuickBooks Online is priced very differently. You get one company for a set number of users. And so Plus is their most popular program. And with Plus, 
Uh, this is the most like QuickBooks Desktop. So if you need a full featured program, you need inventory accounting, uh, you need project accounting, then you're going to need this Plus subscription. So let's focus on it. So Plus includes five users. So remember with QuickBooks Premier, the desktop version, you could get up to five users, but you had to pay additional money for each user. Here, the $85 a month includes your five users. Okay. Plus, you're allowed to invite an accountant to your uh, an account um, so that they can go in and, and view things, do your taxes, give you advice, uh, whatever you want them uh, to do. And that accountant does not count towards your five users. Okay, so let's say we have two users. Well, QuickBooks Plus is going to be $85 a month times 12 is what, I think $960, I believe, a year. That's actually cheaper. Than, than the QuickBooks Desktop Premier, which was 1100 So even as soon as you get to two users, QuickBooks Online becomes cheaper than QuickBooks Desktop. Okay, so that's the pricing structures. Again, if you have multiple users, generally it's going to be best to go with QuickBooks Online. Now, um, how do we access our QuickBooks account. So with the QuickBooks desktop, there's generally three different ways you can install it. Um, if you're just going to use one user at a time, you can install it on a local computer and whoever is using QuickBooks has to get onto that specific computer. Now, I will make one note here. So QuickBooks desktop, when they talk about users, they're talking about concurrent users. So you need two licenses is if you want two different users to go into the program at the same time. However, if you have it installed on just one computer and only one person can access it at a time, you can actually set up multiple users and so you could restrict um, some users you know access to only your billing, some access to only your uh, bill payments, uh, things like that. And that still only counts as one user if it's only installed on one computer and only one person at a time can get to it. Okay, the second way some people like to set up their QuickBooks desktop is to install it on a local network. Um, this would allow you to share it between computers. So generally you're going to install the desktop program on each computer and then you install the company data file on your local server so that all of the computers on the network can get to that file. Um, I have done this. It's a little bit tricky. I'm not really an IT person. I was able to figure it out, but it's not easy. It would have been very nice if I had had some IT support, um, which I didn't. So uh, you can do it. Um, it was a little bit buggy sometimes. It just wouldn't work right, and you'd have to both exit and restart things before before you could uh, get it to work. But again, if we had an IT professional, that may have been avoided. But that is another option, installing it on your local network. Uh, the third option is to pay for a QuickBooks hosting service. Now, this is going to be expensive, but if you really, really like QuickBooks Desktop, but you want the flexibility of QuickBooks Online, then this might be the way to go. So you, uh, you purchase QuickBooks Desktop and you pay a hosting service to put it online for you so you can access it from anywhere on the internet just like you do QuickBooks Online. Um, so we do have an article, um, Best QuickBooks Hosting Providers. I give you the URL there. there. I'll also put it in the uh, YouTube description below the video. Uh, but you can go to that website and we have recommendations um, for different QuickBooks hosting providers depending on your needs. So that's always an option, but it is a little bit expensive. How do we access QuickBooks online? Very easy. You right, you go to the internet, you log in on their internet page and you have access to your company files from anywhere. Things that are the great advantages of that, the program is always up to date. You never have to uh, you know deal with a pop-up that says would you like to update the program for new features? No, that's all done automatically. Your data is always backed up. If you're using desktop, you need to remember to back up your data. Um, I suggest every night, um, but definitely every week. Um, QuickBooks Online, it's always backed up. Um, and you can view your company data at the same time as your accountant. So let's talk a little bit about sharing your books now. And I'm going to get into both programs here and kind of show you how to share them. So QuickBooks Desktop utilizes the accountant copy function, and we'll talk more about that, whereas QuickBooks Online allows you to simply create an accountant user that can then have unlimited access to your books. So let me pull over my QuickBooks Desktop program. 
So here's QuickBooks Desktop, and we'll go through kind of the workflow of it uh, in just a minute. But let's focus on sharing this with our account. So if we want to share our company file, right, because this is just sitting on my desktop computer, I want to share it with my bookkeeper that's in an entirely different building, maybe in a different city, um, how can I do that? Well, there's a very neat feature built in. It's not nearly as convenient as QuickBooks Online, but it is something that works uh, quite well that's been around um, for decades, and they have made improvements uh, as of late as well. So if I want to share my company data, what I do is I go up to File, and I go to Send Company File, and I go to Accountant's Copy. Um, now traditionally the only thing that had been available was to save the file. Um, you can save it on a, on a you know, flash drive. You know, At one time we were saving them on floppy disks. <laughs> uh, save it on a flash drive however you want to do it. You give that copy to your accountant and they're able to import that copy uh, into their QuickBooks desktop accountant program. They can import the copy and work on it. Once they're done with it, they save a file of changes, and that's when you come back here then and you go import the accountant's changes from the file. Now, what makes this different from a normal copy of your company file is that when you make an accountant's copy, it locks all of the data from the prior years. When you make the accountant copy, it'll ask you when do you want to make the breakpoint. Okay, and then whatever date you set as the breakpoint, your accountant can make changes prior to that, you can make changes after that, but you can't both make changes within the same time periods, and that is critical because if you both made changes in the same time period, all of a sudden you've got two different sets of books, and when you try to combine them, it's not going to work. Okay, you're going to have to choose one set of books or the other set, and you're going to lose all the changes made in the one you've abandoned. So you do not want to share your company file with your account just as a normal copy of your company file. It's got to be this account copy. Okay, so traditionally we've always used the just the account copy file. Now they have this send to account that actually does the transfer over the internet through a very handy portal so you no longer have to show up with your with your floppy disk. <laughs> no more mailing floppy disks in the mail um, or uh, disk uh, uh, thumb drives or anything like that. So it is handy, but it's not nearly as nice as having your accountant actually log into your books, right? So this works very well for year-end stuff. Maybe quarterly is not too much for it. Um, but as far as just, you know, every day having the option to get help from your account, this isn't the way to go, right? You don't want to have to send an accountant's copy over to them just so that they can look and find out what mistake you made and then fix it, right? That's just too much work for quick advice from your bookkeeper. But for year-end stuff, maybe quarterly stuff. This accountant's copy actually works pretty well. Okay, um, let me bring now over my QuickBooks Online account and we can take a look at that. Okay, so here's kind of our main dashboard. So first let's focus on uh, how we invite our accountant user and how simple it is. All we have to do is we go over here to our Cogwheel for our settings and we're going to go over here manage users okay here we have listed all of the users on our account and here we can click accounting firms you type in your accountants email you click invite and that'll send them an email inviting them to the company once they uh, get that they can click and they can add you to their client list and what that allows them to do then is their QuickBooks Online looks similar to this, but it's a little bit different, the QuickBooks Online accountant. Um, in addition to their own books, which is basically what we're showing here, they have a list of clients um, above that, a big drop-down list. So once they add you to their client list, you'll be there. They click the drop-down list, go down, click your name, and it automatically puts them into your books. They can see exactly what you're seeing. They can help fix whatever problems of you created very very handy you don't have to invite them every time once they're invited they're invited until you kick them out okay extremely handy good so um, I think the next thing we want to talk about is just the general layout and the differences in how the work flows with QuickBooks desktop and QuickBooks Online. So let's start here. This is our QuickBooks desktop. So in our home page dashboard here, you can kind of see a, uh, a workflow. Um, so you can study this workflow and perhaps when you're first getting used to the program, you'll kind of like this. So you can see where am I at here? Well, um, 
I am I've created an invoice and so from there I need to receive a payment and from there I need to record a deposit right um, eventually I think you'll probably not need this dashboard you're probably going to get used to where things can be entered um, and you'll find it faster not to use this dashboard you initiate most of your transactions in QuickBooks desktop from this top row so we have customers vendors employees and banking that covers most of, the, of what you're going to do, right? So let's look at the invoicing function a little bit. Let's, that's a good representative thing to look at for how QuickBooks Desktop works, and then we can switch over and look at how we do the same thing with QuickBooks Online. So for invoicing, that's going to obviously be under customers, right? We're going to invoice our customers. So if we go to customers, okay, um, let's go to our customer center so you can see what this looked like so with our customer center we have all of our customers listed here all of our active customers listed in this left menu bar okay um, under customers we have separate projects okay so for Abercrombie we have a family room we have a kitchen and we have the remodeling of the bathroom so we have three different projects um, when we select a customer then their customer information shows up over here including any invoices we have outstanding so here we can show invoices um, we can see that they have they owe us fourteen thousand five hundred and ten dollars okay so that's one way to look at our outstanding invoices if we go back up here to customers um, we can also see our income tracker and this is kind of nice this shows us how many estimates we have outstanding sales orders um, time and expenses, open invoices, overdue invoices, if we had any, and recently paid invoices. And so this, everything, the, the, the last screen we looked at was organized by customer. This screen is just a list of invoices. Okay, so that's kind of how we can view the status of all our invoices. If we want to create a new invoice, there's a lot of different ways to do it. But the one way that's always available that I like is you just go to customers, create invoice, and there you go. Okay, this is the screen. You'll create your invoice, hit save and new. You can email it if you'd like. Okay, that's how you handle invoices in QuickBooks Desktop. Let's look at QuickBooks Online. Okay, here we're in QuickBooks Online. Uh, the first screen you'll see when you come in here is the dashboard here so again this is kind of similar to the workflow we saw in QuickBooks desktop but not nearly as uh, detailed um, so again you probably won't use it once you get used to how all the work flows um, so again let's look now at invoicing to kind of compare it to what we saw with QuickBooks desktop so um, if we want to look at invoicing we're going to want to look for customers and here it says get paid and pay Right. So again, it uses much more kind of common um, phrasing that business owners will understand. It's really geared more towards non bookkeepers keeping their books, whereas QuickBooks Desktop is more for bookkeepers. So invoicing means we want to get paid. Right. So let's click on the get paid button. And this brings us up um, something similar to the income tracker we saw in QuickBooks Desktop. So it shows us all of our unpaid invoices and all of our paid invoices in the last 30 days. And we can see them by, this is just our list of invoices by invoice number, okay, or by date. Um, we can also see it by customer though. So again, if we're, if we're in this uh, get paid under customers, this is going to be similar to our customer center that we saw in QuickBooks Desktop. The difference being we don't have a left bar that simply shows all of our customers. Uh, we have to scroll down through here to find the customer we're looking for. Uh, then you can click on them. We'll click on Aaron here. And then that'll bring up his customer details. So it's kind of two different screens, whereas with QuickBooks Desktop, it was just uh, one screen. So again, QuickBooks Desktop, once you get to know it, is generally faster to navigate because you have a lot more information that you can open at the same time, whereas QuickBooks Online is really broken into a lot more different screens that you have to click through. OK, so that's uh, how we kind of view our invoicing activity. Um, how do we create a new invoice? Well, just like QuickBooks Desktop, you can do it from a lot of different places, but the easiest place that's always available from any screen is this plus button.
Okay, go to the plus button. This is where you initiate basically all of your transactions in QuickBooks Online. So click the plus and it tells us all of these different transactions. Well, if we want to create an invoice, that's under customer and we're going to click invoice. Again, see that pause didn't seem like much, right? But if you're doing 100 invoices in a day, that little pause is something. Whereas QuickBook Desktop, much faster. As soon as you click buttons, things are happening. QuickBooks Online, there's that little hesitation with the with the online program, right? So not a big deal, but that's why some experienced bookkeepers that are doing a lot of bookkeeping during the day, they're going to like QuickBooks Desktop because it, it navigates faster and you can just click through screens much, much faster. Okay. Uh, so this is where you create your invoice. Um, when you're done creating it, you can uh, you can print it, uh, you can email it, you can customize it, uh, whatever you want to do. You can do all of those things with either QuickBooks Invoice or QuickBooks Online. So I hope that's helpful. Um, that's basically it for today for the differences between QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. Um, they're both incredibly powerful software. I'm going to throw some links below this video um, so that you can click over and you can get QuickBooks Online for 50% off uh, for three months. Um, or you can choose a 30-day free trial instead. I'll also throw some helpful links to some of our other content. Um, QuickBooks Online, you know, it comes in the four different programs. I think I featured the price and how many users, but there are a lot of other differences between those versions as well. So that's QuickBooks Online comparison. Uh, that's our article, and I'll throw that in the link below, as well as a link talking about the different QuickBooks desktop programs. So we have a lot of information available. I uh, hope this was helpful. Look forward to seeing you next time again. I am Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business.